okay let's start uh, to do this uh, question uh, this is one of the most important questions uh, in profit and loss so let's go through this john bought two watches uh, for rupees 400 if he sold them to gain 5% on one and loss 5% on the other calculate his final gain or loss uh, sorry uh, final gain or loss percent if the selling price of both watches is the same solution so here also you can see there is two cases so he bought it you know john bought two watches for rupees 400 so one case uh, is there he sold uh, to gain five percent on one so in one watch he just uh, earned five percent profit uh, but uh, uh, on the other case uh, he just lose uh, five percent so uh, what would be his final gain or loss percent if the selling price of both watches is the same so in both the cases we have to find the sp and then we have to equate so first case so let uh, cp of uh, one watch be x since uh, the combined price is given here 400 so if we just suppose uh, one of the watches uh, watch be x uh, so in the second case we can just uh, suppose uh, cp be 400 minus x if you just add this both uh, you will get 400 remember in this question the cp is not half of 400 so one will be x and another will be 400 minus x and then just uh, in the first case there is a profit uh, again of 5% so profit is 5% here and then uh, CP and profit given so you can use the formula of SP so when profit percent is given the formula to calculate SP will be 100 plus P percent divided by 100 into CP so 100 plus P percent is 5 divided by 100 into CP is X so 105 by 100 into x which will be 105 x by 100 similarly in the second case there is a loss of 5 percent so loss equals to 5 percent and then uh, sp when cp and loss is given the formula to formula will be 100 minus loss percent by 100 into cp so 100 minus loss percent is 5 so divide by 100 into cp cp is here 400 minus x now 100 minus 5 is 95 divided by 100 into 400 minus x so you can just uh, equate this because according to cohesion uh, if the selling price of both watches is the same it means uh, both this sp1 and sp2 is same so equate this according to question you can write sp1 equal to sp2 or 105x by 100 equals to 95 times 400 minus x whole divided by 100 now what you can do is this 100 is uh, uh, downside here also downside so just you can cancel this 100 100 cancel so 105 x equals to just multiply 95 into 400 so 0 0 4 5 0, 20 carry 2 9 36 38 thousand minus 95 x now 105 x this minus 95 x when you bring to this side will become 95 x equal to 38 thousand as it is now 105x plus 95x will be 200x divided by uh, sorry equal to 38,000 x equals to 38,000 divided by 200 so 0, 0, 0, 0 cancel x equals to 190 and then um, when you know the value of x so you can find cp1 equals to cp in the first case is x so it will be 190 so cp in the second case will be 400 minus x it means 400 minus the value of x is 
190 so it will be 210 so since you have to find his final gain or loss percent so in order to find final gain or loss percent we have to take total sp and total cp so total cp you already know total cp is 400 and uh, sp1 and sp2 are equal so we need to find value of sp first first uh, find sp so sp equals to 105 x by 100 so 105 by 100 into value of x is 190 so you can just uh, calculate this and find sp by using calculator so it will be 199.5 and then uh, sp of two watches will be this 199.5 into 2 because selling price is same so just uh, multiply it by 2 so if you just multiply it will be uh, 399 now now just uh, co uh, compare this uh, total cp is 400 and total sp is 399 so definitely sp is smaller so there is a loss so you can find loss percent equals to cp you can take total cp minus total sp divided by total cp or total cp is uh, sorry into 100 percent so total cp is given 400 total sp is 399 whole divided by 400 into 100 percent so this two zero and this two zero you can cancel and this 400 minus 399 is 1 divided by 4 percent which is equal to 0 0.25 percent please subscribe like and share my videos with your friends see you soon with more educational videos thank you